Hi parents and carers, this is Mrs Backhurst and I'm Miss Cunningham and today we're going to give you a little presentation about getting your child ready for reception. Okay, so this is just a little outline about what we're going to cover today. We're going to look at the new early years framework, we're going to look at assessment, we're going to look at, at special educational needs, learning in the early years, what our school day is like, any useful information, how to help your child and how you can help us. In September, the Early Years Framework will be changing slightly, but it's still going to be focused upon the three prime areas, which are personal, social and emotional development, communication and language and physical development, and then the four specific areas, which are literacy, maths, understanding of the world and expressive arts and design. Like we say, there are going to be some slight changes which are more so focused upon the early learning goals, which is what your child will be assessed at at the end of the year. Um, for example, previously the early learning goal was focused upon technology, one of them, whereas that has been removed now um, because it's sort of a given that children will access technology every day because we're in the 21st century. In September, um, the reception class will be taking part in a new reception baseline assessment. Um, this has been brought in by the government this year. Um, all children will be accessing it. Um, it's just going to be a kind of short um, judgment. Um, the children will take part in different activities such as literacy, communication and language and maths kind of skills. Um, and this will kind of be monitored as they move through school. Um, at the end of reception, the children will be assessed as emergent or expected. However, in the past, we have had an exceeding um, goal, but this time it's changed to just emergent or expected. And we kind of track the children if they're going to be on track or not on track. Um, and you will be kind of given this report at the end of the school year. Continuing with assessment, we observe and assess children on a daily daily basis. Um, this will take place through observations and various photographs and that will sort of take part of your child's learning journal and it will sort of give us a little sort of learning journey of what they've done from September all the way through to July. Um, it's important to remember as well that when we do write observations down, we'll write them down word for word of how your child has said it um, just so that we can see how their communication and language has progressed as well. Special educational needs. Again, through our daily observations, we will monitor your child's development. Um, if there are any concerns you do ever have about your children, or if we do in school, we would kind of notify you immediately and you could do the same with us. Um, these concerns would then be passed over to our um, SAN coordinator. Um, and we are in partnership with lots of speech therapists and educational psychologists. So if those were required, we would be able to kind of deal with that in school. Learning in the early years. Children's learning in the early years is underpinned by three characteristics of effective learning, which are active learning, playing and exploring, and creating and thinking critically. This takes place both indoors and outdoors in the environment, um, and we've also are so lucky to have a lovely secret garden at St Aloysius, which the children love playing in and exploring and learning lots of things about the environment. So these three characteristics of effective learning take place there as well literacy. In school at the moment we use a scheme called Talk for Writing. This um, enables children to retell stories using actions. We are using British Sign Language to go alongside this um, and the children also can learn how to go away and do their own story maps which will then enable them to go and write independently. We have shared some work with you. Please don't be alarmed with some of the pieces of work that we have shared. Um, the bottom left is something that we started when they first came in September and then it's kind of progressed throughout the year so please don't be alarmed that your children cannot come in being fluent writers. This is something we will work on throughout the year. Um, but we just want to kind of wanted to share with you the progress that the children do make in reception um, and the writing at the moment is absolutely fantastic. The children always work hard and we really feel like the talk for writing scheme has kind of supported this. Phonics. We follow the Sounds Right programme of phonics at St Aloysius and it's an absolutely brilliant scheme which gets children writing from the get-go. So the phonics lessons that we do is every single morning. They last about half an hour and it incorporates different lessons such as word building, sound swap, we do dictation, we do some reading and spelling um, and like we say the children are writing from the first phonics lesson so it gets that pencil control ready straight away and it also gets them familiar with sort of the setup of everyday phonics. 
Um, that brings us on to the reading as well. So your child won't come home with a reading book until about the end of September. And um, this is so that we can cover the first unit of phonics first, which we usually start about two weeks into reception. And the first unit takes about two weeks to complete. And when we've completed that first unit, that's when your child will come home with their first reading book. So don't panic if your child doesn't get a reading book straight away because it's just part of the process. Also as well on the brochure, we know that there's a link on for the Udemy course for parents to access. It's a free course that was designed by the creators of Sounds Right, which is absolutely brilliant. So we do suggest that you do have a little look at that just so that you can be familiar with how to read with your child at home. And it also follows the format of the phonics that we do in school as well. There's also a great Sounds Right phonics app as well, which you can get on iPhones, Androids, um, and it also, again, it follows the format of them lessons that we do in Sounds Right, so the children will be familiar, and it's a really, really, really great learning tool for your child to look at. Mathematics. Maths in the early years is very practical. The children love doing activities both inside and outside of the classroom. and um, We use a lot of resources to help them with their maths. Um, when your children first come into us in September, we only kind of look at numbers to five up until Christmas time. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it would just really kind of work on the understanding of numbers. And um, we look at them in different representations and things like that. Um, and this will kind of progress as the year goes on. Understanding the world. This area of the EYFS is one of the big changes um, with the new early years framework in terms of the early learning goals. This includes past and present, so for example when we look at police officers and firefighters and ambulance workers and drivers, we'll be thinking about how they used to look like in the past in terms of the vehicles and the clothing that they used to wear and we'll look at it in terms of the present day as well. We'll also look at people, culture and communities, which is where we do a lot of our RE work. So for example, as you can see on the photographs, we reenact baptisms. We'll also role play weddings and we do lots of learning around Easter and Nativity time. And fingers crossed this year, we will get our Nativity as normal. And then we've got the natural world and we look at things like our natural environment around us which is lovely to explore in the secret garden and we'll also think about our local area of heaven and we'll compare this to places around the world and as you can see on the photos the girls there are painting a beautiful african sunset expressive art and design this area enables your children to be free and creative and imaginative and at the moment we're really really lucky we have a St Aloysius teaching town which is set up like a little role play area we've got a home area we've got a construction area we've got a stage a shop and it really encourages your children to be imaginative and really kind of express that play um, as well as that children explore using different materials they can build and things like that and the children love kind of that independence the school day so all reception children will be starting school on tuesday the 7th of september 2021 they will be coming in full time from the get-go so the doors open at quarter to nine on the morning and there's a 15 minute window for your children to get into school because the doors will then close at nine o'clock which is when we'll, we will begin registration at lunchtime, the children do go over to the junior school for their lunch, so straight away we'll be learning how to cross the road safely, and the school ends at quarter past three. We know that that first Tuesday morning is going to be dawn, and not only for the children, but for parents and carers as well. So when your child comes into school, they will be coming into the door through the main entrance, which is where the ramp is, and myself and Mrs Backhurst will be there on the morning, reassuring not only the children, but parents as well. Useful information, PE and outdoor clothing. Please provide a PE kit for your children. All children will need a PE kit. I know you, they are available at JK Clothing and as well in capital letters and bold. Please, please, please label all of your children's clothes. It is unbelievable how many clothes we have left over on a nighttime, jumpers, cardigans that don't have any names on. So please, please, please write your names on your children's clothes before and after school clubs. We do provide a breakfast club that runs daily from eight o'clock every morning until nine o'clock. It is held in the junior school so you can drop your child off there and they will be brought across to the infant school by mem members of staff from breakfast club. We also have an after school club that runs daily from quarter past three until quarter to six and it is based in the infant school. If you have any information you want to find out regarding breakfast club and after school club, please don't hesitate to contact myself, Mrs Backhurst or the school office. 
medication. Um, lots of children do have medication in school. Again, make sure that is labelled. You have to sign a little form just to say what kind of medication your children do have in school. Um, and things like that. Make sure school is aware of any medication that your children are currently taking. Um, and that is that for medication. Drinks and snacks. Children are provided with a piece of fruit every day in school. We do encourage you to bring a water bottle in. We are a healthy school, so please just bring water. You know, we don't want children drinking pop or fizzy water. So please just provide a nice, fresh bottle of water for your children every day. And school lunches, again, like Miss Cunningham said, um, the children go over to the junior school. They're all provided with a hot meal every day. Um, and if you do need to fill in any relevant forms to receive extra, extra funding for free school meals, please contact the school office. Helping your child. It's so important that when children come into reception that they build up independent skills so you can support that at home, especially during the summer holidays. So for example, you can encourage them to put their own shoes on, zipping up coats, getting ready themselves because like Mrs. Backers has just said, they will be getting changed for PE. And also something as well, which is so, so important is using cutlery. Um, so the children do go over to the junior school and we do teach children how to use cutlery properly. We don't want them picking up mashed potato with their hands and um, we do just try to sort of develop them skills from the get-go so if you can try and work on that in the summer holidays as well that would be absolutely brilliant So just continuing on with helping your child, we're going to start with attendance. Um, regular attendance is so important and like we've said before, we do phonics every single day. So if your child does tend to miss school on a morning or comes in late, they are going to be missing crucial learning in phonics, which is ultimately going to sort of put them a little bit further behind than where they should be. Behaviour and attitudes. So we do have our behaviour chart in school, which is a rainbow, a sunshine, a rain cloud and a thunder cloud. And your child will have their own little face that they can put on these different displays. And they will know that if they have good behaviour, they will be rewarded. And if their behaviour isn't so great, there will be consequences. Helping us. Unfortunately this year we haven't been able to have a phonics or maths cafe but this year we're hoping fingers crossed that things are a little bit more normal so what we would do is we would invite you into school so for our phonics cafe you would be able to come in you would be able to observe both Miss Cunningham and I teaching the children their phonics session so then you can kind of go home and follow the same kind of work that we're doing in school again that's the same for the maths cafe we can kind of show you lots of different practical activities that you can do at home with your children um, and just kind of give you some ideas of things you can do at home with them the homeschool diary is something that we will send home to your child on a weekly basis you can share anything that you do with your children at the weekend or after school you can share photographs bus tickets cinema tickets um, and it gives your child an opportunity just to share with us what they've kind of been up to after school or at the weekend reading together this is so so important i can't stress enough how important reading is at home um, your child will be given a reading day so please make sure that your children bring their reading books in on that day that is the day that their books will be changed children who read at home you, we can see so much progress with those children if you are reading with them at home we will read with them in school but you know anything that you can do at home really really does help us and most importantly helps the children So parents and carers, that is it. Um, we just want to say a big thank you for listening and um, we hope it has been useful, the information that has been shared. But if you have got any further information or try questions to sort of that you would like develop to find them out, skills from please the don't hesitate so you can try and work on that in the summer holidays email, as well. That would be please remember as well brilliant. that we are only at the end of the phone. So, see you in September! September.